Welcome back. Do you want to draw this really cute little retro camper? Grab yourself something to draw with, something to erase your mistakes, something to outline your beautiful doodle when you're done, and a nice clean sheet of paper. And we can get drawing this adorable little camper. Are you ready? Let's go! on our little retro camper. So I am going to start by turning my paper so it is horizontal. So I want my paper to be short but wide, kind of like a camper would be. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to start with a tire. So I'm gonna make a nice circle. And I'm gonna make it only off to one side of my paper because campers, they can have two tires, but a small camper like I'm gonna draw, it'll have one tire here and then it'll have a little hitch to go onto your vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to do one circle right here for the tire to my camper. Inside that circle, I'm gonna go ahead and draw another circle. I want to make that inside circle just a little thicker than the outside circle. Now I'm going to go around this circle and I'm going to create a nice big rectangle shape. And my rectangle is going to have rounded edges. So I do kind of want a rounded triangle shape. There's my dogs barking up a storm. They're enjoying this weather. So a rounded kind of looks a little bit like the um, Instagram camera shape. So go ahead and do a nice rounded square shape or rectangle shape. And I'm just gonna double up the line around the outside here, make it a little bit darker. If you're in pencil, you don't need to worry about this yet. You can do the outline in a little bit. I'm going to come off the front of my camper here and I'm going to create the little hitch that's going to hold the part that would attach to your vehicle. So I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle. I'm going to make it all black and it's just going to come out of the tip of that camper shape. And I want to kind of keep it parallel to the bottom of my paper. Then I'm going to draw a nice straight line up and at the end I'm just going to do a little circle shape for the part that would attach to my vehicle. Just a little extra just to show that this is the end of the camper. It might tip over. There may need to be something there if I'm all into camping, but this is just my doodles. I don't need to get real technical with all of the little extras. I just want it to look like a cute little camper that is hanging out in the woods. So on this side where there isn't a wheel, this is where I'm gonna add my door. So I'm gonna come in with a rounded rectangle shape. This rounded rectangle is going to be a little taller and skinnier. And then I'm going to go around the outside of that, trying to keep my lines parallel to the inner line, and I'm going to create a second line, kind of like the frame to the door. I'm going to go all the way around and down. So I just have a nice little frame to the door just to maybe add like a little extra color now I'm going to go in and add a small circle for the door handle on my door. So far I'm liking my little doodle. I'm going to go through here and add just a little line in the middle of my camper. And I'm going to invisibly draw across and then finish my line on the other side. And that way I can maybe make a decoration down here. I can have a half color here, half color up. I could do some lines for maybe some paneling if I wanted to. Now I'm going to add in my window. And my window is going to be just like the rest of my camper. My corners to my square or rectangle window are not going to be straight and pointy. They are going to be rounded. 
And I just kind of think with my retro-y pictures, having those rounded edges just kind of helps out our doodle a little bit. And I'm gonna make it a little thicker on the outside there, go around the whole thing, and a nice outline. And then I'm gonna come right through the middle and give it a plus sign to break up my window. So now I have the little window on my camper, I have my camper, and I'm actually gonna go around my tire a second time to make it just a little bit thicker. Just give it a little bit more of a line there. And now I just need a fancy little background to my camper. So I am going to do my horizon line out here. And then remember, when you hit the end here, you pick up, but you keep moving your hand in the same direction as if you were drawing. Put it down when you hit the end. Finish your line. That way your line stays consistently even across the picture. You don't have a line up here and a line down here that don't really make much sense. I think I'm going to add a tree in the background. I have some space over here. So maybe I'm going to add the top parts of a tree. I'm just going to add a nice big puff, kind of like I would do a little cloud. And then I'm going to add a line down for my tree trunk. Maybe a couple extra little puffs there. Maybe this is just a nice little campground. I don't think I'm going to add much else. I think I kind of like it the way it is. So I think I'm going to go through and color. So I have my beautiful little cartoon retro camper ready to go. I'm gonna speed up the coloring. You may always pause and watch, or you can wait until the end for my colors and do yours the same way, but go ahead and be creative. Maybe add a little pattern or something onto your camper. Maybe add a little paneling or some lines down here. It is entirely up to you, but let's go ahead and get this cute little doodle colored. All right, so I have almost finished coloring my cute little camper. I am gonna go in and I'm gonna add some shadows to help bring my picture to life. So I'm gonna start over here in this tree and I'm gonna add just a little shadow to the base of my tree with a darker green. So I colored my tree with a nice light, almost lime green, and now I'm gonna come in with a slightly darker green and just kind of add a little bit of value down here from the bottom up. And that's just gonna help give my tree a little bit more life to it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit random darker patches. And they're not gonna be a lot darker. You're not gonna see many lines. You're just gonna see a nice little fade of color. So it's gonna be just a little bit darker around areas like that where a piece of tree overlaps a little bit. Oh, and now I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna come down here to the bottom of my camper and I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna to try to create a little shadow here on the ground from underneath the camper. And I'm just coloring lightly, nice straight solid lines going evenly across my paper. Maybe I go back in the other direction and it does not need to be super duper dark just needs to add a little bit of color to the green just a little bit of a darker value there just to help enhance my doodle and so there's that now I've got a nice little shadow under my camper see how it's already starting to kind of come together a little bit more I'm gonna go back here and add a little shadow just where the tree is because they could cast a little shadow there under the ground and I'm just gonna kind of make it fade away into the foreground. If I wanna add a little shadow over here just to keep it even, even though there's not a tree, I can. Um, just so that way both sides look the same and it doesn't look like maybe one side is complete and the other side is not. Now I have my camper. I chose to do a teal camper because I saw one actually like a couple days ago. I saw a little teal camper on the road and it was so cute to me. So I decided to go in with a teal. 
Now my only problem is I don't have a darker teal to go through and add those darker values to. So I'm going to take a blue since teal is just a blue green color. And I am just going to add in a little value with this blue. And I'm going to go from the bottom of the door up. I'm going to go around the door frame and around where the handle is. And that's just to help show that maybe that framing of the door kind of comes out a little further than the door itself. Maybe the door is set back in there a little bit. And it also is just going to give my door just a little bit of life. Add a little something to my doodle. And then I'm going to come across this line right here and I'm going to add a little value there also where that little change in color is. I also might go around the door frame on the other side just to add a little value difference in color on my camper and just give it a little life. And then I'm going to come up here to the top and just add a little bit coming down and that just helps give our camper a little bit of form and adds a little pop of extra color. It doesn't make it so flat and boring. It just gives it a little extra. Now down here I used a peach color. Um, I wanted just a light beigey color. I really didn't have anything other than peach. So I did use the peach. So now I'm going to come in with a brown. And I'm going to very lightly add in just like an extra little layer. I just don't, the peach is a little too light to me. I kind of want that old wood look to my little camper. So I'm just going to add a little bit there. I'm going to add some from the bottom and I'm going to fade up around my wheel. There go the doggies again. They are enjoying this very nice weather. Alright, and then I might do just a little bit here going down. Now I have just a little bit of extra going on on my little camper there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my black and around my windows here. I'm just going to add a little bit in the corners of the windows. Just to help kind of show that maybe they're sunken, sunken in also on the frame here. Like that, the black line of my frame is out a little bit more. And when I colored the first time, I added a couple little lines on my glass just to be kind of like some extra little shine marks on the glass. So feel free to do that. And the last thing I really want to do is this makes me think of a little camper like at the campground at nighttime as the sun's like setting or rising. So I am going to take a darker orange. And I colored my whole background yellow with a nice golden yellow. Now I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to color from the base my horizon line and I'm gonna come up and fade away so that way it kind of looks like maybe the Sun is setting or rising and it just gives like a little extra to my picture instead of having such a flat one colored background I thought that would be really neat and the orange and the blue are a good contrast so they're giving me a nice picture to look at because those colors are such a good contrast with one another. You've got a good opposition in those colors. So I'm going to color up and I'm going to color around and I just want it to fade. So up here it's probably not going to change. It's really just going to be on these two sides, which is a nice small area to work with to create that fade. So I'm going to go a little heavier down at the bottom and then I'm going to come up lighter. And then you can come up on the sides and do that also. And I just wanted to have, and you can use different colors. Maybe you use blue for your background, and then you can go with like a purple. The sky hits a whole bunch of different values depending on the time of day. So you could see every color of the rainbow if you're looking at the right time. So I just love it. I thought that that little bit of orange just really would make my picture pop, and I love it a lot. So. I hope that you really enjoyed drawing our little retro camper and I hope that you get nice and creative with yours. Maybe do a campground or a little fire or maybe other campers in the background. Hope that you like and subscribe this video and I really hope that you come back for some more art lessons. I hope to see you later. Happy doodling!